Okay, so we are on top of that big hill that I was fishing at the bottom of, uh, the Teltan River, and I found out this is the old fish camp from years and years and years ago. There's still a few people who use it. It's an old church. Beautiful part of the world. Look at this. The uh, Stikine River is straight ahead of us here. There's some old outbuildings here. That's another part of the church. Big cross on the front. It might even be an old school. Not too sure. So the guys used to, way back when, they used to camp up here and they'd walk down to the river to do their fishing. <laughs> That's one heck of a hill to walk up and down. And you can tell by the dog in the background there's people still living here today. The old smokehouse. A lot of fish to fill that thing. Some of the locals. The old building. And there's the culprit, or guard dog. And we've actually got the fish out it's right here now that's being used. See all the smoke pouring out of it. Another one over there being used. Closer, see what we get in the smoke I'm thinking it's sockeye. Okay, as you can see, all those racks loaded with fish, with salmon. Pretty cool. Pretty spectacular spot up here. There's a big set of bear tracks walking down the road. Relatively fresh. So I know we just had a rain here about uh, Three or four hours ago, real light rain. 
and this is showing showing the mud sticking to his pads and he's wandered down here somewhere Better set back here. There's a good one. Big bear. There's a bear. See the big claws sticking out in front. Surprises me we don't see a whole bunch more of them up here with all the all the fish that are out here in the smoke right now. Oh, just in case you're wondering, that's uh, that's one of the easiest parts of the road right there. See how it's cut into the side of that hill. Not uh, a place you want to be doing when you're drunk, I guess. Huh? Okay, we're up here on uh, what I think is probably the prettiest part of this whole valley. That's the road that actually we travel along. I'll zoom in on that a little closer for you in a bit. This is the Stikeen River Valley again. Incredibly, incredibly beautiful. up the valley to the west. And way down there is our Stikine River. three quarters of a mile upstream where the Teltan runs into it where we're fishing. And like I said, zoom in on this, there's the road we take. Follows this canyon all the way along. And I'm not sure how this camera is going to work, but this is standing on top of the hill. And this 
is looking over the edge. There's trees down there. That's probably at least a hundred, hundred and twenty feet. Yeah, it just goes down and down and down. And this part that I'm on is actually, just to give you an idea how steep it is, it's about twice as steep as what you can see there on the side of the road. That's actually pretty gentle. And as you can see, there are no guardrails. A few little pullouts here on the side of the road, like this one. Not very many. There's a guardrail there just to keep you away from a washout. Let's have a look. The road's all washed out there. And as you can see, she's a, she's a pretty hefty little drop down through there. Okay. And there you have it. That's the Teltan River flowing into the mighty Stikine River. Which from what I heard is one of the three fastest rivers in North America. I'm going to have to check that out when I get home. And it's just a few hundred yards up there is where I'm fishing. Let's see, uh, hard to get a zoom here, but you can still see some of the nets that are out there.